What is up crew, it's your boy KSM and welcome back into the stream. Today we're going to be talking about drawing the head as we'll be going over some of the facial features like the ears, the mouth, the teeth, all of that stuff as well as drawing just some interesting, hopefully cool looking characters. Now if it's your first time here, my name is KSM. I am a Filipino art streamer on Twitch and I teach everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective to character design and I also work full time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. So if you guys are interested in some free art education or just want to hang out with my dog who is sleeping over there make sure to follow on twitch subscribe on youtube or whatever and i hope you guys enjoy today's video so what's really interesting about the ears overall is that the ears are basically going to be comprised of i would say four sections all right so let's kind of maybe rough out these sections first well we're going to have the first section of the ear which is going to be known as the helix it's going to kind of wrap around here um, kind of create the loop there for the ear here on the side. So let me kind of erase this a little bit more. Uh, and that's just again going to kind of wrap around, make that ear shape. And then in the inner portion here is going to be something called the anti helix. Now, the anti helix basically is going to be the section of the ear that kind of goes against and almost like perpendicular uh, to, the, to the helix. And I'm not going to talk to you guys exactly about what they do, more about just kind of the general shapes and stuff. But basically, these forms kind of wrap back together. They're going to kind of merge in together here. And eventually, uh, they're going to create the, the ear lobe. Okay, and there's a little lobe, lobe section, which I'll, I'll add in a bit. Give me a sec. So the ear lobe is going to kind of go down. Um, maybe you'll have a little pocket there. And this little section right there is going to be that ear lobe. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so going in here, so we have here the helix, the anti-helix, we have here the earlobe. Last but not least, the other portion I'm going to add here is known as the targus, and that's going to be this little flappy, uh, the little flappy bit there. Not flappy bird, uh, flappy bit there for the, uh, for the ear. And so these are going to be the main kind of four components of the ears. Now, there are so many ways to draw this uh, representation of the ear, so keep that in mind. You don't have to draw it exactly, you know, how I'm drawing it, right? Take it, take it, with, uh, take it as you will and, and draw whatever versions make the most sense to you. Okay, so again, we have here, we got here the helix, all right? So we got the helix. We've got here the anti-helix. Kind of sounds cool, honestly, anti-helix. It's like the opposite goes against the helix. Um, you got here the earlobe, and then you got here the tragus. There you go. Um, let's go ahead and do the, the contours here. Okay, but let me go ahead and duplicate this. Let me go and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a quick little con cross contour for you guys so you guys can kind of see the cross contour. So you can kind of imagine the ears are going to kind of loop like this. Um, there's going to be some rings that kind of go this way, right? They kind of loop in there. Um, and they're kind of going to loop back like this. Maybe they'll have, um, you'll have like the earlobes going in this way. Right. And so you have kind of like this rhythm here, um, for the, for the ears. And then here you'll have, I think this is kind of where the most interesting stuff is going to be. You're going to have the kind of the earlobes kind of going in uh, and kind of following this like ring shape a little bit. So let me kind of do this a little bit better. Um, um, and then, um, inside here is going to be kind of like that concavity where the sound kind of goes in here like so. Okay. I should just go like this and I'll be like, yeah, cover it here and then be like, all right, if you want to see this, make sure to subscribe to my only fans where you're going to get secret access to juicy content like this. <laughs> uh, there you go. No, I'm kidding. I don't have an OnlyFans. I'm sorry. Um, don't don't try searching me up on OnlyFans. I I don't have anything there. You will actually just get disappointed. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, um, these are going to be the cross contours of um, of the ears. You know, just to kind of see and visualize it a little bit better um, here. So let me do that on a multiply layer. And then the last thing I'll talk about when it comes to ears, I think, is going to be just showing you guys the angle and the placement of the ears because I feel like. Uh, ears can be really interesting and if you don't if you're if you're not really too familiar with how they work you can kind of get confused so let me do that on a quick little layer here let's talk really quick about heads and kind of where the ears are placed right so you can imagine if you had a head um, right here let's say we have this one like so okay quick little jaw there 
So one of the things I always like to call out is that the ear um, from side view here technically doesn't actually line up exactly at this line right here. It goes in at a little bit of, uh, of an angle, right? So this is obviously an exaggeration um, that I'm showing you guys, but I think it's good to know that the ear, um, it starts off, I wish I had a better reference, but it basically starts off a little bit further back. And so it goes at a little bit of an angle there despite the center of the head kind of going in here uh, like this. So, so that's kind of one little tip there. Make sure the ear is going a little bit at an angle. Um, a little bit, not too much. I think I might've done a little too much there, but again, this is, um, I'm, I'm just showing you as a quick demo and an exaggeration, slight angle there. Uh, and then another thing too is, I think if you were to see the head from top view, which I'll do right now, um, you'll kind of see that as well too. So this is top view, right? So keep that in mind, top view. Um, when the ear is at top view, um, another thing to kind of call out is that the ears actually uh, also kind of fan out a little bit too. So they're going to have a little bit of, they're not going to just lay flat on the, um, they're not just going to lay flat against the skull there. They will fan out a little bit like this. Okay, so this is um, facing this way. Uh... Oh, uh, one more, one more angle. We'll do one from like a kind of a back view. So you can kind of see the back view as well. Um, so we'll do one where the character is kind of facing from behind. So when the character is, uh, when the character is facing from behind, um, the way that the ears are going to look like are basically the ears are going to kind of go in here and kind of curve in a little bit and kind of create some of that hook. And then we'll kind of hook back here like so. So it's not going to just be like a flat ear like this and you have all the same details. Depending on the angle of the head, you can basically just see mostly uh, just kind of like that C curve as it kind of overlaps back into the ear there. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other angles that are interesting to call out. I think those are the fair, those are the good ones so far. Um, and let's put like another ear back here. So do this. Don't do... Uh, <laughs> Okay, so don't do this. Don't do that. Um, but I think that should be good. I think that should be that should be good for the most part. Okay, so that was all the ear, all the ear basics that I wanted to talk about with you guys when it came down to drawing the ears. Let's go back now into drawing uh drawing this character that we had over here. And I'm thinking maybe we should color him today. I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood to do some some coloring with you guys. What do you guys think? I'm thinking we color him out and then maybe we spend some time drawing teeth and mouths as well. And then that way we'll do, um, yeah, we'll do a little mouth, mouth drawing. I might even change, hmm, should I use the same? I can maybe use the same reference or the same pic, the same drawing that we did but I'll just open his jaw out a little so we could talk about teeth and stuff. Yeah. So let's kind of open up the mouth here a little bit. I want to give him maybe, maybe he's yelling, right? So let's kind of do a pose here where he's yelling. And I think what's interesting about mouths is really placing the corner of the mouth here can do a whole lot in changing the perception of what's going on with the face. So you can have the upper corners of the mouth be a little bit higher up in which case you'll have maybe more of a smiling, positive look or feel for the face. But if you actually lower the, um, the corners of the mouth a bit more, you can sometimes get more of a dynamic feel instead. So you can really do a lot there with just the corners of the mouth. So let's kind of bring this corner of the mouth down right here, um, like so. And I think I'm on the wrong layer, uh, always. So let me make sure I do that first. So let's go kind of find where we want that mouth to open up instead. So let's kind of go maybe like this. Um, and keep in mind that whenever you're adding a, a mouth or a pose like this to your character design, that you also have to consider the a couple of things are going to change, right? So one, you got to consider that the jaw is also going to move down too. So here we're going to have this mouth opening this way, which means the lips are going to kind of move down and open out more this way as well. Um, but the the lower lip here will also move down here which means that the cheekbone or the jaw here will also open up here and kind of uh kind of follow this movement down here for the uh for the cheeks so we're kind of just opening it up here giving it a little bit more uh more space more volume 
And then here we're going to kind of maybe open this jaw out to kind of match the, the, the position that we have there. So this is kind of the process that I would do for animation. So like if I were to work on like, let's say a character talking or something, uh, this is kind of that process here where I would kind of first figure out some of the mouth placement that I want. And then from there, maybe change the jaw a little bit more, move things around a little, just to kind of give it more of the uh, feel like he's talking and stuff. Okay, so that's kind of not bad. I, I kind of like where that's going. Let me go ahead and lower this one a little bit more here so we have more of that lower lip kind of matching with the angle that we have. Okay. And then, um, and then what I'll do is I'll do the I'll showcase his teeth and stuff in a bit. So right now I'm just going to go in, uh, I'm just kind of, kind of cleaning up here. Some of the, 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 the face a little bit before I commit to any lines. Right. So I don't want to over commit here and then I'm going to find that, oh yeah, the, the face looks a little bit off. Right. So I'm not going to do anything just yet. I'm just going to kind of, uh, change things around see if I like the mouth placement a little bit more. Um, I think I need to maybe get his chin too. So let's kind of place that in there a little bit. So I'm just, I'm just getting the, the rough kind of feel first before I commit to the, to the lines. Okay. Um, let's kind of move some things around a little bit here. All right. This is looking a little bit better. So I'm liking kind of the, the direction of this one. Um, I think what we need now is the, um, we also need the tongue color. So let me just pick a quick color for that. Um, okay. Um, so again, I'm just kind of laying out here how I want the mouth to feel and look like, you know, just kind of getting, uh, the shapes there. And then I'll talk about the anatomy as well of, of the mouth. So like maybe this is kind of the rough idea that we want to go for. He's opening his mouth, blah, blah, blah. He's talking, right? All that kind of stuff there. Okay, cool. Um, so I think this is actually pretty decent for where we want to start off with. Um, just to kind of get the rough idea there for the mouth. Bop, bop, bop. He's opening, closing his mouth, that kind of thing, right? Uh, and then from there, uh, we can kind of go in now and change maybe the rest of his expression as well to, um, to give it some more feel and look. So... Ta -da, there you go, right? So open mouth, closed mouth. You can kind of see the process there for this one. Um, yeah, let me know if that was uh, that was helpful to see. So again, this is kind of what we do, um, kind of like an animation, is we kind of work with what we have first as our base, our base image, and then from that base image, kind of going in and altering some of the things. I think for this one to really sell that he's opening his mouth and stuff and that he's actually talking, I think what I would want to also do is maybe add and change the expression of his brows. So maybe this, uh, kind of like that, you know, just to add a little bit more uh, flavor there. Uh, and then maybe let's try that actually. Let's just see if that looks good. Why is this so difficult? Um, what is this? 30%, 50%. Okay. So I'm gonna go like this. Go like this, clip mask, 50%. There you go. There. All right. And so this is kind of how I would go about like maybe changing the expression just a little bit to give it more of like him talking, that kind of thing. See? So uh, you can really get away with just kind of changing a few things. So you don't have to do too much. But let's actually talk a little bit now about the anatomy of the teeth here because I think the anatomy of the teeth is going to be really interesting. So... First of all, uh, the, the upper portion here of the teeth. So imagine if you had the skull and whatnot. So the upper portion of the teeth here basically sits on that maxilla. Uh, the maxilla is the bone here that comprises of the upper, uh, the upper teeth. It also connects to the nasal bone and all that stuff. Uh, but in the sake of teeth and stuff, it's going to be where the upper teeth are going to be. And what's good to know about, about this structure about the upper teeth is that they technically don't really, uh, the upper teeth don't really move around too much. They're kind of fixated on the structure there, um, of the face. So wherever the eye line is here, like this and the brows and all of that stuff, the upper teeth should also follow, um, that structure. If there's anything that's going to move, it's actually going to be that lower tooth right there or the lower set of teeth there. Um, and the reason why is because of the jaw. Now, something to keep in mind when it comes to drawing teeth also is that the mouth doesn't actually open up uh, down straight. It actually kind of goes at a hinge. You can imagine there's like a hinge right here. Uh, and so it actually opens out 
at an angle. And so what ends up happening is that that jaw lowers down kind of what we did here in this example, right? So it kind of goes a little bit subtle. This is what you want to do. Um, and don't do, I'll show you an example of what you shouldn't do. Uh, and again, obviously these rules are things that you can break. Uh, for example, one piece is pretty, uh, pretty common in, in, there's a lot of things in one piece that they do. That's pretty common that breaks a lot of these rules. Uh, but again, if you're first starting out and you want to learn some of the basics and the fundamentals, practice doing these first and then learn how you can break that style to kind of match what you're going for. So don't do, you know, don't do this thing where the mouth just kind of opens out uh, like so, because that again will not necessarily be accurate here. So going it like this, don't do this. Okay. We want to make sure it hinges out, opens outwards. All right. But now let's actually talk a little bit about the set of teeth as well. And then I think we'll be good here. I might clean up this face a little bit more, maybe even make him yell a bit more to show more teeth and stuff. Uh, but let's kind of move, I'll move this guy down a bit further. All right. So next step here, let's talk about the teeth. And I think one of the interesting things that we can do is we can actually look at the teeth um, from down below. So imagine if we were like looking up at someone's teeth here. So I'll show you guys really quick kind of how that looks like. And we'll also talk about the set of teeth. So I believe generally there should be, um, there should be 32 teeth in the mouth, uh, as a, as a rough, some people have less, some people have more, depends on the molars and all of that stuff. But generally there should be 32, 16 on top and 16 on the bottom, right? Let me double check. So there should be something around about, about 16. And what's cool is that the first, um, so if you were to kind of look at it from, from up top right here, right? The first, uh, six teeth on both the top and the bottom, all right. First quick, uh, first one on both the top and the bottom. Um, they're going to be kind of the more sharper teeth here. And these teeth are going to be used primarily for chewing, um, breaking down certain things like cutting stuff up. And so usually these are going to be a little bit sharper. And I'm just going to kind of denote them here as kind of sharper, uh, sharper teeth. And I think these need to, okay. Um, and then, uh, from there, the back teeth are basically going to be more kind of flatter teeth. And these are going to be for kind of more, uh, just kind of general, general chewing of things. So not too complicated there, but I think if there's anything that's interesting to keep in mind, I think really the front portion of teeth there are going to become very valuable because they are going to be probably what's most visible in, in, uh, the character design, right? When you're drawing a character, you're going to, and if you have their mouth uh, open and stuff, you're probably going to see those front uh, set of teeth first. So here you have five in the back here. These are going to get kind of progressively boxier, a little bit bigger as we get to the back of the tooth. Like, so I'm just drawing squiggles here because why not? Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll kind of maybe shrink these down a little bit, add a little bit of compression there. And then I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. There you go. So that's going to be the general structure there of the tooth of the teeth. Um, with again, the sharp ones being on the front and the, uh, the flatter ones, the more square ones being in the back. All right. Hopefully that's okay. Um, how many is in a person's mouth? I want to say 32, but that seems like a lot. No, it's, it's 32. Yeah. There should be on average 32. Um, again, some people might have more technically if you like grow in your wisdom tooth and all of that stuff, but it should be, um, should be kind of roughly about there. So again, uh, this is the top view, right? So the, the first six here, first six are going to be generally sharper, are sharper. There's 16 top, 16 bottom. Um, other things to call out too is there's going to be, I think this tooth here, the, these are called like the canine teeth. You'll sometimes see these depicted as very sharp and stuff, but basically they kind of have like a hook like structure. Um, kind of like that. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of about it for teeth. Honestly, I think really the biggest thing about teeth is going to be the hinge opening that opening and closing the hinge there. Um, the, the sections of teeth and then also the, maybe the position of the mouth. Something to also consider is the oftentimes the 
the upper teeth here are going to be pretty visible when you open your mouth but you don't you're not going to necessarily see everything unless the mouth is upturned like this so this upper portion sometimes when you're talking you'll see like a little bit of that upper teeth they're showing but okay now that we've gotten that out the way maybe i'll go in here and kind of uh maybe push out this expression even further to kind of see how if we can kind of give him more more of more teeth more mouth so we can possibly do some of that there or we can even do um, i might even do a new expression with you guys maybe we'll do we'll do another one here where i'll show you where i can show you a little bit more of like maybe a character that's like has like their mouth yelling or opened out kind of thing and where you can really see more uh more of the teeth All right, a lot of you guys are voting for new <laughs> new character already. So I think that's just what we're going to do today. Let's just go ahead and get started on that one. Um, I'm just going to do a quick rougher, kind of rougher sketch here with you guys. So that way it's not like um, we're not over committing to anything here. I'm just going to give a kind of a general face, you know, nothing too, nothing too crazy, I would say. Or we can even draw, we can even draw him again. And I'll do a quick rough pass of him so you guys can see that too. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to go in here and uh, let me let me kind of drop in uh, the structure here for this for this face that we got. You know what I might I might want to actually draw this guy again. So I'm going to move him here just so if I if I decide I want to um, we have a reference for it and stuff. But yeah, welcome in. Welcome in everyone who's here today. My name is KSM and yeah, I teach art on Twitch here. And I also uh, work, I also work full time in the animation industry. But let's kind of go in here and let's talk a bit about that structure of the mouth that we mentioned earlier, right? So one of the things that I said was if you're going to open out the mouth and stuff, make sure that the jaw is moving, uh, moving down. But first, let's kind of talk about the skeleton here. And let's kind of see here the structure of the skeleton that we have. And again, we have the components of the frontal teeth up here. Now, when you're drawing the frontal teeth, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to add a lot of detail if you don't want to. But I'm going to keep it nice and simple here. Add some of the, the sharp teeth in the front. Those are the first six that we talked about. Uh, and then in the back, I'm just going to subtly denote kind of those boxy shapes. You know, get, get a little bit of the feel there. But uh, going back here, so as you can see, now that we kind of understood the the general structure of the teeth and stuff, you can really start to simplify some of the, the, the structure that we have here from the first six teeth of the sharp, uh, the sharper kind of canines and all of that stuff. And then the further back teeth where we have more of the flatter, uh, more of the flatter shapes there, right? Uh, but yeah, ta-da, we got here the mouth. You can kind of see here... Um, it's pretty much again this uh this structure once you understand how the anatomy works and stuff i think it really does help out a lot when it comes to drawing the mouths you can really get comfortable by placing in um, all the teeth that you want to place in and then you can go you know add more details or less details i do think the biggest thing to keep in mind always is going to be the the how the jaw opens and whether or not you're going to be seeing more or less of those bottom teeth, right? Um, I can never get comfy with the default brushes for Procreate. Me too. And that is why I made my own brushes, actually. Ta-da! I also disliked the default brushes on Procreate. And so I made my own and that is all I use. Maybe we'll do something like that. Um, let's see. I know Sonic too well. <laughs> you guys know you guys know the tunes, yeah. Um, a thing I like to do sometimes is draw random and obscure drawing programs. Uh it's super uncomfortable not having my settings and knowing where every single thing is. Yeah, you know, and I think that's sometimes how work is too. Like with work, you know, you don't get to choose sometimes the programs you work on, sometimes there's like a specific tool that they're asking for. So I should probably just do an expression sheet. I want to do an expression sheet for him. Um and then, and then I'll add in, I'll clean it up and stuff like that, you know, make it look nice and crispy out here for you guys. But I think that's actually a lot of um, what we covered today. So we covered the mouths today. We covered 
um, ears today. For those of you who missed it earlier, we had a lot of ears. But um, yeah, if it's your first time here, guys, welcome into the KZM crew. My name is KSM. I am a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch, and I teach everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective, to all things related to character design. And I also work full-time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. Currently, right now, I'm prepping to work as a character designer for shows like Castlevania, Legend of Korra, and Invincible. So if you guys are interested in some free art education, or you guys just want to see my dog sleeping or whatever over here, make sure you follow on Twitch subscribe on YouTube and all of that cool stuff. 